Hi, welcome to RARMAT. Today I'm doing a series of videos on higher order polynomials. This one says find all the zeros of the polynomial function, determine whether the multiplicity of each zero is even or odd. To do that, I need to set each equation equal to zero, and then in most cases factor. So for this one, I notice that x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, I'm going to start by factoring out an x squared before I even set it equal to zero. So I have x squared minus 16, oh, sorry, x squared times x squared minus 16 x plus 48 equals zero. Okay, then um, I have a trinomial. So to factor this trinomial with a equaling 1, I need two numbers that multiply to 48 and add up to negative 16. So negative 1 and negative 48, negative 2 and negative 24, negative 3 and negative 16, negative 4 and negative 8, uh, 12. And that's the one I want. So I have x squared times x minus 4, x minus 12 equals 0. So the uh, rule of zero says if multiple things multiply to be zero, one of them has to be zero. Zero is our only number that says that. So either x is zero, x minus four is zero when x is four, x minus 12 is zero when x is 12. x squared gives us two zeros. I didn't write it twice, we don't need to. But that means this is an even multiplicity, whereas these two are odd because they only appear once. What does this mean? It means if I were to look at a number line with 0, 4, and 12, not drawn to scale, um, this graph would have a turnaround at 0, it would cross at 4, and it would cross at 12. It gives us the beginning of what the graph looks like. I don't have all of the specifics of what this graph looks like, but I know this is the start. I don't know how high this goes. I don't know how low this goes. I know it's pointing up because this leading term is positive, so I know it's an upward pointing graph. However, I do know that the turnaround is on the x-axis because this is an even multiplicity zero and I know that 4 and 12 are odd so it actually crosses. All right for this one this has two zeros I knew this one would have four so um, because it's a quadratic three terms but a isn't one I'm going to do ac five times six is thirty two numbers that multiply to thirty and add up to negative thirteen so we have, sorry, negative 30. The 6 is negative, the 30 is negative. Uh, 1 and negative 30, 2 and negative 15. Uh, you have to be really careful because 2 and 15 will get you there. So will 3 and 10. So this is one of those ones you can get to in any formation. So you have to be very careful with uh, 30 and 15. So I have 5x squared plus 2x minus 15x minus 6. Once you have four terms, you factor by grouping. I'm going to pull an x out of the first two, bring this negative down, and a negative 3 out of the second two terms. x, 5x plus 2, minus 3. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. 15 divided by 3 is 5, 5x. A negative divided by a negative is positive. 6 divided by 3 is 2. The, what's in the parentheses are the same. 5x plus 2. What's out of the parentheses is x minus 3. 5x plus 2 is 0. When 5x is a negative 2 or x is a negative 2 thirds. And x minus 3 is 0 when x is a with positive 3. Um, in the past, I have also shown a method of solving this, um, let's see, negative 30, negative 13, by saying divide by your a so that you have x plus two, 15, uh, two fifths 
and x minus 15 fifths. If you notice, that's a faster way to get to your answer if you do the fraction method of factoring. Um, the fraction method of factoring is probably the best way for solving if you're comfortable with that method. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube method and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.